I'll talk about the 982 as you see here. This is our aggregate handler package. I mentioned aggregate handler packages in the classroom. Again, a larger counterweight on all the different models when you have that aggregate handler, a bigger bucket capacity for higher payloads. So for instance, the 982 with the aggregate handler package, it's a 12 and a half yard, 12 and a half ton rated payload, but we allow all the way up to 14 tons with our payload policy. What's the benefit for our customers? Well, when you're doing on-highway truck loading in any of these aggregate yards, it's always best to fleet match to the highest volume truck payloads that you have going in and out of the yard. Okay, so in doing so, we can eliminate partial passes. That's how I like to kind of transition into that advanced productivity data. It's how do we make sense of data from the customer perspective. Instead of now just a one-time visit in a snapshot in time looking at some info, we can look at it across months and months of data, see what their overall average is, not only impact their current site conditions and eliminate waste, but we can better optimize that fleet solution moving forward from a machine size, bucket capacity, etc. Now, what's new on CPM? If you recall from the classroom, it's that list management. Customers who are, of course, looking at trucking, truck IDs, material IDs to manage their invoicing, understand when they need to replenish stockpiles, etc. They now have a much more uh, comprehensive ability to put in 250 truck IDs uh, and or material IDs. And the way to do that has been dramatically improved from a user interface standpoint. Whether it's an operator on this machine sitting in that yard and a new truck comes in, he can now right from that main display type in that new truck or material ID that he's going to be loading. Additionally, site management, when you have that advanced productivity portion of uh, the subscription, you can actually do that remotely through the advanced productivity uh, list management tool. Notice this light now, again, illuminating down here to the ground, comes on for two minutes. That's that new ingress, egress uh, lighting package. Complements the 15 degree inclined ladder or staircase, as we call it, reducing the uh, ability to bump your shins. Self-cleaning steps. Again, you want to keep those steps clean and dry. The other thing we've added, similar to our um, uh, track type tractors, this depth fill. At 90% fill, you will hear a uniquely toned double beep of the reversing alarm that lets the operator or the service technician know that that's about full. Because the best thing that we can do is identify operators who have the best in class practices. Years and years of experience out with customers, we've identified certain cycle times, for instance, that are key for success to keep low fuel consumption. So we can use that to identify maybe where an operator is the best practices, reinforce them, compensate them for that. But we can also look for that waste where potentially an operator just needs to go through a simple training process about how to load the bucket, how to use some of the features on the machine, because it goes back to that in-use efficiency. I really want to stress that because, again, many equipment manufacturers, we can spend millions and millions of dollars, but if we don't get that in-use efficiency, that's where some of that investment is lost.